Friends, let's look at some very important questions for class 7 IMO. Right? So these are IMO style questions. They would need a little more from you than basic questions. So here is, here is our first question. Mira starts her journey from Delhi at 10 a.m. Right? So this is this is pretty simple. I mean, this, we, we can surely appreciate it. We have we all have done certain amount of journeys in our life, so we can appreciate it. So he she leaves at 10 a.m. in the morning and goes to Gurgaon. The speed is x kilometer per hour. We are not being given what the speed is. It's really x. We need to find it out perhaps. And at 12 noon, she observed that she is 5 kilometer away from Gurgaon. So what is the time travel? It is from 10 a.m. to 12 noon. So that is 2 hours. And she travels it at the rate of x kilometer per hour. So this is the distance that she has traveled in kilometers. Of course, at this point, she has not reached Gurgaon. She is 5 kilometers away from Gurgaon. So how much would she need to travel to reach Gurgaon? 5 kilometers more and of course this would be the distance between Delhi and Gurgaon. So our answer is 2x plus alpha. Right? So very simple. The question is really asking you to translate from this language to the mathematics right here. So this is all that is needed here. Here we need to find the value of x. So we need to solve for x and this is the indices question. So let's look at it. How we will solve it. So a raised to power 2x minus 1 is equal to a raised to power. So the rule here is if I open this bracket this x minus 2 would be multiplied by minus 1. So that is all I need to do. So this becomes minus 1 into x minus 2. And this becomes a raised to power minus x plus 2. That is all I need to do. Of course, both sides have a. So I can really compare the indices now, right? Because they, for these to be equal, right? For a raised to power 2x minus 1 to be equal to a raised to power minus x plus 2. For them to be equal, 2x minus 1 has to be equal to x minus 2. So that is the thing here. So 2x minus 1 is equal to minus x plus 2. This minus x would come on this side. It will become plus x. And this minus 1 would go there and it will become plus 1. So this becomes plus x. 2x plus x becomes 3x. And this is equal to 2 plus 1, 3. And therefore x is nothing but 1. Very, very simple. This is an integer question. Okay, This is a question on integer arithmetic. Very, very simple. Because we are dealing with negative numbers here. That's why. What are we being asked? We have been asked to find the value of this, this thing, a plus d divided by c plus b. Let's write down the value of each of those. What is the value of each of those? So a is nothing but minus 5.6. So this is minus 5. I'm going behind. So I'm moving more in negative direction. This becomes minus 5.5. And here, when I reach, it becomes minus 5.6. Similarly, if I look at it, what is the value of b? B would be minus 4.1234. So this becomes minus 4.4. What is the value of C? C is minus 2.123456. So this becomes minus 2.6. So these are all negative. These are all left of 0. So these are all negative. And now we look at D, which is positive, which is towards the right of 0. So this is, of course, D is, of course, positive. So D becomes what? D is nothing but 0 and then 1, 2, 3, 4. So this becomes 0 0.4. Now I substitute in this formula and what do I get? I get minus 5.6 plus 0 0.4 divided by C. C is nothing but minus 2.6. And then of course I need to add B which is plus B means it is minus 4.4. Okay. So this is, this is what we need to do. We need to translate from this figure to this maths here, first of all. And second, now we need to know the how to do the negative numbers, arithmetic using negative numbers. So let's do that. This is minus 5.6 and we are adding plus 0.4 to it. So this will become slightly positive. It's not enough to become fully positive. This will become minus 5.2 divided by minus 2.6. And of course, this is minus 4.4. Negative and negative, negative divided by negative becomes positive. This entire thing would become positive. 2.6 and 5.2 they cancel in 2's, right? So 2.6 2's are is 5.2. And 2, and so this becomes plus 2 minus 4.4. So this 4.4 is very negative. It is 2, when I add 2 to it, it will become 3.4 and then 2.4. Okay, so when I add it, it will become, this becomes 2.4. And that is of course our answer, right? So very, very simple question. And of course, the sign would remain negative because this was very negative to start with. So minus 2.4 would be our answer. Now, here is the fourth question. So there is a guy called Anmau and he was attempting your paper just like you, you would for your IMO. For each correctly done question, right? so this is there is a negative marking. In some exams, there is a negative marking. For IMO, it is not. But for other exams, there is a negative marking. If you do a question correctly, you get 
positive marks. If you do a question negative, uh, incorrectly, you get negative marks. The marks are deducted. So four marks are awarded for each correctly done question. So let's say that he is able to do X number of questions correctly. So what, what is the number of marks he would get? He would get four S marks for it, correct only. But he loses one mark for each wrongly done question. For each incorrect response, he loses one mark. And now total number of questions that he has attempted is 20. Of course, X were correct. So 20, sorry, 20 minus X is the wrongly done number of incorrectly done questions. Right. So what is the number of marks deducted is 20 minus X. That is the incorrect number of questions. So what is the marks he would get? He would get 4X for correct questions. And then of course, for each of these 20 minus X, these are the marks that would get deducted. And if we do this, then what are being said? That this total number of marks, this is total number of marks. 4X means for each correct question, he got 4 marks. So that is 4X. For each incorrect question, number of incorrect questions is 20 minus X. So these marks have been reduced. One mark has been reduced for each of these. So I, we put a subtraction here. And this comes out to be 50. So this is the uh, simple equation in X. And we should be able to solve it. So this becomes 4X. This bracket would open. And we would get minus 20. And this minus and minus would become plus, right? This minus and minus would become plus, and we would get x. So this becomes 5x, and this is equal to 50. This minus 20 would go, would go here, and this would become plus 20, and this becomes 70. Okay? Our x comes out to be 14. Okay? So this x comes out to be 14 from this equation. Now we should be able to uh, put it in the uh, back in the equation, right? Put it back and find out the number of incorrect questions and number of correct questions. And in this case, uh, we assume that he had done. Each we are already assumed that x was the number of correct questions. So 14 is the answer right away. So x is simply the our answer. This 14 is the right answer. Here we are given a figure. Again, it's a geometry kind of question, but really an aptitude question, more an aptitude question. So we have been asked so this this gray colored region is the shaded region. So I'll shade it once more so that it becomes clear which squares are shaded. So these are the squares which have been shaded. And we have been asked that how many more squares must be shaded? So that the unshaded fraction of the given figure is 2 by 5. Right? So what are the total number of squares? If I compute that it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So this becomes 9 plus on top there are 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then on top of it there are 5, then 3, and then finally 1. So if you total this, this is the 25. So there are a total of 25 squares. From these, unshaded is 2 by 5. That is what we have been told. Unshaded fraction of the given figure becomes 2 by 5. So what is the unshaded fraction? Unshaded fraction is 2 by 5 into 25. So this becomes 5, 5 is 25, 5 twos are 10. So this is the unshaded. So number of unshaded squares, I want them to be 10. So what is the number of shaded squares? Shaded squares would of course be 25 minus 10, which is equal to 15. So these are the 15 is the number of shaded squares. This is the number of squares that I want shaded. What is the current number? Current number is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. And I want this number to be 15. So how many more do I need? I need three more. Very, very simple, right? Very, very simple question. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have doubts, don't hesitate to put them in the comments below. Do more practice from the links in the description. Thank you.